Hello, this is Grady with another GIMP, the new image manipulation program video tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about bumping, bump mapping images. And basically what a bump map is, is if you look at the, uh, up here where it says GIMP, you'll notice that uh, we've got a little texture for the word GIMP, and it looks like it has a little depth to it where, where we have the text. And it's that depth that we're going to show you how to create. So we're going to open up our GIMP program. And once we have our GIMP program loaded, you can create a new file. It doesn't matter uh, for this particular image what size we make it so we'll just leave it at uh, at the image size there so that gives us enough size to work with there now what we we'll want to do is we're going to create our text and what you want to do is you want to find a good uh, a good size font that's going to have a lot of thickness to it because whenever you have a really thick font you're going to get a much better effect than if you have a thin font just for this particular type of effect so we're going to type in our sample text here and we're just going to arrange our text box here so that we can actually have this a little bit more visible here just a little bit that way, there we go and we'll drag this down some. There we go, that's nice. We'll try to get that a little centered there. Okay. Now once you have your text, what we're going to do is we're going to blur it. So we can blur our, our text. And then what we're going to do is we're going to merge our text down. so that the text is now a part of the background layer. And we're just going to invert the colors here. So we go to select color and invert. That's really not a necessary step because I can show you how to I'm going to actually you know what? I had a little trouble with this just a second ago. So let's leave it like that for the moment. And we'll see if this might be why it had trouble. Okay. Now, now that we have our text layer, we're going to come over here and we're going to call this our map layer. This is the layer that we want to create the bump map on. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new layer and we're going to call this our texture. And this is going to be what we're going to, the texture that we're going to use to create the bump map. It's really easy to do because all you have to do is choose bucket fill, choose a pattern, and in this case we'll just choose these maple leaves right here. And just click so that we get the bucket fill. Alright. Just getting off of that so that if I don't accidentally do something, I don't do something to mess anything up. All right, so now we have our nice texture pattern there. We're going to make sure that we have the texture layer selected. And we're going to go to Filters. We're going to choose Map. And we're going to choose Bump Map. Now that's going to bring up our dialog box right here. And you're going to get a number of 
of uh, things right here right away. For example, the first thing you notice is that we are using that we're bump map. We're bump mapping basically the same layer. That's not really what we want to do usually. So we're going to click on the drop down box and choose the map layer. And now you can see that we have a little bump map going there. Now if you if you notice with this one over here we have kind of a, a dark part around the text and over on this other side we have a lighter part around the text. And sometimes this can make it look like it's a a, a depressed image or like it's etched into the uh, material you could click on the invert bump mapping so that you got the darkness on this side and the lightness on this side and it gives it a little bit more of a, a raised look so you got more of an embossed look and then you got more of a raised look right here where you see uh, map type you got different cho choices you can use you can use linear spherical or sinusoidal just kind of however you want your effect to look I like the sharpness on the sinusoidal so let's leave that and Uh, you got some other choices here uh, where it says compensate for darkening if we click on that you see how the image gets darker if we don't compensate for that so we're going to leave the compensate for darkening so that our base colors stay the same and then you can also choose to tile your bump map um, not sure really what that does, but if you wanted to tile your image, that might be something that you would want to do. If you, if you're, if you had something that went all the way to the edges that you wanted to bump map, then you might want to tile your bump map. Okay. Now you have another, a, a bunch of other different options down here that you can choose. You can choose the azimuth, which if you notice where it has the shadows and the, the, the highlights and the shadows on the text, basically moving, changing the azimuth to change is where those highlights and shadows appear. And you got a 360 degree range on that. you have elevation that's how high or how low the result is and that goes from 0.5 all the way up to 90 You can adjust the depth from 1 all the way up to 65. You can offset the text to the X or Y axis. You can also adjust the water level and the ambient sometimes that can changing one of those can affect the output those both go from 0 to 255 once you get your image like you like it just click on OK 
and there you have your pump map. That's going to be all for this particular lesson. As always, if you would like to learn more, if you would like to see more video uh, tutorials on how you can create your own images for your web pages, or if you would like to have a uh, image made for you, you can visit my website. This is Grady saying so long for now.